wet distiller's grains plus solubles. Wet distiller's grains plus solubles can be stored by itself without the addition of forages in bags under no pressure with little risk of splitting the bag. This method of storage is less efficient in terms of storage area and may allow for development of air pockets within the bag. Storing wet distiller's grains plus solubles by itself in bags under pressure greater than 300 pounds per square inch results in splitting open the bag. If splitting is going to occur, it typically will happen within a few days of bagging and consequently the product is subjected to further spoilage and loss. Therefore, mixing wet distiller's grains plus solubles with low quality forages is recommended for storage in bags under pressure. Data from previously conducted research suggests the following optimum inclusion levels on a dry matter basis for storage of wet distiller's grains plus solubles with different forages when stored in bags. 12.5% forage with 87.5% WDGS for both wheat straw and corn stalks and 15% grass hay with 85% WDGS. Mixtures of 67% wheat straw and 33% WDGS, 33% wheat straw and 67% WDGS, 50% corn stalks and 50% WDGS, and 56% grass hay with 44% WDGS have also been stored in bags. It's important to remember that as the level of the dry forage in the mixture increases, the moisture decreases, which can cause air to be trapped in the bag even when stored under pressure. For producers interested in storing wet distiller's grains plus solubles in bunkers, it's again recommended to mix the commodity with low quality forages. One of the challenges with wet distiller's grains plus solubles is that it will not pack directly into a bunker without the addition of forages. However, if producers desire to acquire small amounts of wet distiller's grains plus solubles, such as one semi-load of 30 tons or less, and don't have the ability to mix a product with forages, then storage can be accomplished by piling the commodity directly onto plastic and then covering just after unloading. In this situation, the product is unable to be compacted, but spoilage can be minimized. Mixtures of both 30% grass hay and 70% wet distiller's grains plus solubles and 40% grass hay and 60% wet distiller's grains plus solubles all on a dry matter basis have been successfully packed into a bunker. 29% corn stalks mixed with 71% wet distiller's grains plus solubles on a dry matter basis has also worked well for bunker storage. Mixing 39% wheat straw with 61% wet distiller's grains plus solubles has been successfully conducted with minimal loss or spoilage. In this scenario, round bales were used as sides and the pile was covered with a plastic tarp. Generally, an initial ratio to consider when storing in a bunker is 70% WDGS and 30% forage on a dry matter basis. If this combination is too wet and doesn't pack, then simply add some more forage to the mixture. Likewise, if the mixture is too dry and fluffs up when trying to pack, add more co-product to the mixture. Modified Distiller's Grains Plus Solubles Modified distiller's grains plus solubles can also be stored in bags by itself even with pressure. However, producers can incorporate forages into the mix if they desire to utilize certain forages depending upon their individual situation. Because modified is a drier product than wet distiller's grains plus solubles, less forage may be needed to pack into a bunker. A mix of 15% grass hay and 85% MDGS on a dry matter basis has been successfully put into a bunker. Modified distiller's grains plus solubles may also be stored in a bunker without the addition of forages. Again, the pile cannot be compacted by driving equipment onto the product. Many producers have piled and covered modified into a bunker with little spoilage, and this technique can work for either earthen or concrete bunkers. It's always recommended to cover the pile with plastic if possible to help minimize spoilage. Condensed corn distiller solubles Condensed corn distiller solubles has also been stored in either bags or bunker facilities. The process is similar to storing either wet or modified distiller's grains plus solubles, except more forage is generally needed. Storing condensed corn distiller solubles in bags with forage is typically less risky in terms of spoilage than storing in a bunker. Condensed corn distiller solubles has been stored in bags by mixing 50% CCDS with 50% of either corn stalks or wheat straw on a dry matter basis. Mixtures of either 24% or 45% condensed corn distiller solubles have also been stored with either 75% or 55% wheat straw on a dry matter basis. In these situations, water was added to increase the moisture to 50%. Increasing the moisture level in these relatively dry combinations helps reduce spoilage. 
For producers wanting to store condensed corn distiller solubles in bunker situations, mixtures of 50% CCDS and 50% wheat straw or corn stalks on a dry matter basis have been successfully made. Also, a mixture of 41% condensed corn distiller solubles and 59% corn stalks has been easily stored and fed. For more information on the process of storing ethanol co-products, as well as examples and recommended levels with forages, please visit the Storage of Wet Corn Co-Products Manual under the Byproduct Feeds tab located at beef.unl.edu.